Welcome to the 6.30 Cider and Pretzel Concert. This is the ninth grade concert band before you. Um, and we've had just a great time so far in concert band. It hasn't been very long, but it's going very well, as I think you can probably hear. Our first piece was Procession of the Sorcerers. So the students had an opportunity. The composer thought of it kind of like a little mini movie. Gargoyles, unicorns, magicians, jesters, jugglers. And so they got to pick out some different characters and really work on their tone quality, articulation, and, and balance to bring some of those to life. Our next piece is very different and more challenging. Um, it's titled Captive, and it's based off the Advent Carol O Come O Come Emmanuel, um, but it is really not a traditional setting in any way. Um, but you'll, you will hear that melody at the very opening and then mixed in throughout. Uh, but there's a lot of drama and, and conflict involved in some of the writing as well. So we hope you enjoy Cat.
Matthews may score a little bit for information on the next piece or I will make some errors. One of the most wonderful things about music is that it shows up everywhere in life. Um, all the important moments in your life, whether they're happy or sad or monumental, music is a part of that. Um, and especially this time of year, in a variety of faiths and beliefs, um, there's music that represents that. So in the last piece, we had some melodic motive from an Advent carol. Uh, our next piece, um, with today being Hanukkah, uh, takes place in the Jewish tradition. And it's a band quest work, and what that means is there's a group in Minnesota who go and they seek out world-renowned composers who have never written a piece for band. And they find them and they speak with them and see if they would be interested. So Hankus Nesky was one of those composers. He's a professor at the New England Conservatory of Music. And they went and they approached him about writing a piece. Well, he was really excited. And so we have our next piece, No Names in Bulgar. It's a Jewish dance and a grand march. And his local school in the area he lives, um, in Massachusetts, was right by their, um, the Adam Street Shul. And it's this, their city's oldest synagogue. Well, um, it was dedicated December 15th in 1912. And so, with that dedication, um, there obviously there was fanfare involved, which you'll hear from our trumpet soloist here at the beginning, and then there was a march and a procession to the dedication, and that was his inspiration, uh, where he went in and he worked with that local school um, in writing the piece and refining his art, working with a young band, and then um, they did they had the opportunity to do the world premiere, and so it's really a different type of piece, and I don't typically program a lot of marches with the ninth grade band because they all play a march in eighth grade. Um, but this is a different type of march. It, it, you will notice it is definitely not Sousa. It's very klezmer inspired, and we hope it still makes you want to dance a little. So here's No Name from Bulgar.
Before we play our last piece on our portion of the program, um, I would just like to thank all of the parents because you're obviously doing a wonderful job. This group has been wonderful. The very first day of Contraband, we had to talk about what good rehearsals look like and what they need to do to make those happen. And the vast majority of time that is happening. So that's you know, as much as anyone can ask for students to come, be eager to learn, be ready to play, and the difference in just this short amount of time makes me so excited to like even dream about what they're gonna sound like by the end of the year. Uh, they're really doing well. Our last piece is In the Bleak Midwinter, and this was, um, Robert W. Smith is a well-known band composer, and a retired band director, Ms. Alta Sue Hawkins, went and approached him about writing a piece based on In the Bleak Midwinter, and he loved the idea because the hymn, the melody, lent itself so well to, to band and orchestrating it. Um, unfortunately, in the time that he was working on the piece, uh, Ms. Alta Sue passed away, and so he took the work that he had done so far and went back and revisited it a little bit. Her main instrument was clarinet, so you're gonna hear the first statement of the melody uh, from a solo clarinetist. And then her three children, uh, one played horn, another one played euphonium, and then the third one played horn. So you'll hear soloists and solis come in um, with a lot of counter melodies and those instruments really predominantly throughout the entire work. With her being from Virginia, a really well-known folk tune there that was important to her was uh, Shenandoah. So that is the counter melody through a lot of the work, and it's just beautifully orchestrated and written and fits this group quite well. So we hope you enjoy in the bleak midwinter. Uh, when the students are finished with their portion of the concert, they're going to swap places with wind ensemble back there, and we'll get to hear a lot more good music. So thank you. <laughs> 